Good afternoon, my name is Alexis Sonin. I'm the director of the Musée Yves Saint Laurent Marrakech. Delighted to uh, have you here today for the pre-opening um, of the site from the exhibition, which will open to the public on Saturday, 4th of March at 10 a.m. in the morning until Sunday, July 2nd. Um, and this exhibition presents the work of a deceased American artist named Sai Trombley, who passed away in 2011 in Rome, Italy, was born in Virginia, South um, State in the United States, and came to Morocco first and last time in the fall of 1952 and the spring of 1953. He came in the margins of a first travel that he did in Italy, outside of the United States, with another fellow artist, Robert Rauschenberg, very well known himself uh, later on in his life. And together they came to uh, Casablanca. From Casablanca they went to the Atlas Mountains, to Marrakech, and then up north in Tangiers and Tetuan. And what they've done was to not only share a scholarship, received from the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts in Richmond, Virginia, but also to share a photographic camera, a Rolleiflex, with which they took photographs, that's uh, a selection of which is presented here in this um, uh, exhibition uh, space. With this camera, Trombley recorded what he saw, uh, mainly archaeological remains of various sites in Morocco, but also his fellow travelers, um, in that case, Robert Rauschenberg. And they also draw, or drew, at least that's what uh, Sai Trumbly did, to draw what he saw, what was interesting to him. Most of the drawings that he did in Morocco have been lost. But when in February of 1953, they went back from Tangiers via Spain to Rome, Trumbly continued to draw and draw and draw and draw what he remembered from his four to five months um, discovery travel to Morocco by remembering and drawing and putting on paper what he uh, saw, but also what he was seeing in a museum in Rome uh, called the Pigorini uh, Museum, which was an ethnographic and a museum dedicated to prehistory in which uh, objects were gathered um, from Africa, also from Morocco, and he kept on drawing those uh, objects while he was in Rome and looking at them carefully and being interested by them and asking himself questions. In the margin or in the pages of those sketchbooks that we present in relation to other single sheets of paper drawn by Trombley, there are annotations such as Africa, um, which uh, is explicit in and by itself, but also a list of words transcribed or transliterated from Darija into uh, English, or at least into a Latin alphabet, such as Bezef or Shkun, you know, the very basic vocabulary of someone who is perhaps learning or trying to go by day by day in Morocco. Um, and uh, we also present um, a series of photographs that were later on reprinted from the negatives by Sai Trombley decades after his visit to uh, Morocco. And we uh, also present a large painting, about two meter by a meter and a half, that Trombley did not in Morocco, not in Rome, but in could, when he got back to New York in the spring of 1953, he prepared an exhibition with his fellow traveler, Robert Rauschenberg, in a gallery called Stable Gallery in New York. And in that exhibition, Trombley presented, among other works, a series of paintings, three of which are still um, known to us. One is in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. One is in the family of Cy Trombley. And the third one is here with us, coming from Houston, Texas. And it's entitled Volubilus which sounds like Volubilis, because Trombley wanted to choose the Latin name of the site that most Moroccans and other uh, people who have come to Morocco would know, meaning a um, Roman place in Africa, a place that in Morocco evokes the Roman Empire, and that's the um, 
encroachment of Roman history, African history, and perhaps vernacular Moroccan culture that caught the attention of Twombly to the point that months after his coming to Marrakesh and to Morocco, he would uh, remember is traveling in photography, in uh, sheets of paper, but also in large format paintings.